Just over two years ago, my boyfriend and I moved into our first place together after he graduated from university. And so our initial goal was to actually set everything up tomorrow. So computers anyway, everything else is like whatever. As long as our computers are set up, we're fine. So that's the goal tomorrow. But we're gonna have our are like, come on, back up. High five. That was a shitty high five. Sorry. We're gonna be in a vlog, okay? All right. This is Mac. And this is our junk. It wasn't long after move-in day, we set out on a road trip to Joplin, Montana to pick up our first corgi. We're in the middle of nowhere. We just stopped for supper. Then we're headed to Lethbridge, and then tomorrow morning, Doggo time. We're picking up Frenchie. Are you excited? Yeah. Come on to me tomorrow. Tomorrow will be exciting. Today's tiring. <laughs> Today is tiring. So that's what we're doing right now. They're so freaking small and cute. Look at them. Oh my goodness. First interaction. Frenchie. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Being a booger this morning. Where are you going? Can I save him over there? Yeah. Look at him now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, now they're gonna be. Oh, good one. Oh, good one. <laughs> Those ears, though. Come on, French. Come on. Fast forward to today, we are doing it again after upgrading to our current house, but this time, it's a little bit different. Nathan and I sold both of our cars, and together we bought a Tesla. Bye! Driving a Tesla almost has zero relevance to corgi puppies, but if you don't know Nathan and I personally, and you're watching this online, we live in Alberta, Canada, which is already kind of on the low end side of things when it comes to electric chargers for Teslas. And we're gonna be doing a route that is in the more rural part of the province. And I thought it would be interesting to document not only picking up our brand new corgi, but documenting what it's like driving a Tesla through the rural part of Alberta. So first off is Bosno, which is three hours away. Should get there with the third energy left in the tank. <laughs> After taking a quick break in Drumheller, our Tesla maps decided to route us through Strathmore, which was great because their charger ended up being super fast and we were in and out within less than 15 minutes. Check out by 8.30 basically. Oh, thank you. We are ready to go again. Where's our next stop? 
Floyd. Doggo time. Doggo time. Apparently last night, Frenchie was whining, so I feel really bad. Thank you to Kiana for um, watching him for the night. We are currently at a gas station, parked at a gas pump, washing our windows. I just felt like sharing that because we're obviously in an electric car. Dioji and Frenchie are actually from the same breeder and she's located in Montana. So unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we weren't able to actually cross the border, visit her and pick up the puppy. But fortunately for us, she does have a friend that is a commercial driver that is able to pass through the border and has all the permits to do so legally without being quarantined. Therefore, we were able to pick up our puppy at the 10 week mark, which we're super grateful for. That's your color? Yep, that's mine. <laughs> Well, take care of guys. Or let's get a picture together. Sure. Would you like to do that? Sure. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at this. Come here, little guy. Hey, look at this way. Pretty like guy. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, yeah. You. <laughs> you got yeah. a big, big puff. That's your brother. Yeah. Yeah, this is for sure him because his eyebrows. Right? Oh, yeah. This one is done. We have secured. Secured the bag. Secured the dog. Secured the doge. He's so tiny. He's tinier than I thought he was going to be. Yeah, uh, he's about the same size. I remember. Uh, hi, buddy. Are you thirsty? Oh, you're such a good boy. He was really quiet on the ride to our first charging spot, which we made it back with. 50 kilometers, so that's pretty dang good. Stay back there. Have some more water. We made it to charging. We're gonna feed him, give him some water. He's slept the almost the entire way. He's been so good. Overall, it's been a very good trip. Charging wasn't near as scary as Nathan and I thought it would be, so that's good. Now we're just vibing on our last stop before we actually go home. That's a water dish, boo. Oh yeah, see? Can I roll you over? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hey buddy. Look at his little belly. Look at his legs kick. Already in love, right? We were kind of iffy going into it, whether or not the trip would be like, if the car would make it. Basically, if you were to use a gas vehicle, the trip was about 550 kilometers. We had to make it about 600 kilometers just for rerouting to superchargers. We had to stop at two each way. And it basically did pretty much what it said it would for percentage wise for how much would be left. Minus like about 10%. So you'd say it was on par of what you thought the trip was going to be like? Basically when preparing for it, yeah, it worked pretty much how it was. And the total cost of charging the whole thing was like $27-$30 Canadian. And then compared to a gas vehicle, how much would we have spent, you think, if we were to use my old car? On 1100 kilometers, probably $90 in gas, something like that, 80 to $90. It's kind of a crazy difference. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, well. Okay, well, the OG Rico. go. Okay, we are finally home. We're gonna get Frenchie to go potty here. And then, are you ready to meet the OG? Are you ready to meet your brother? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Did you have a good day? That's not me. <laughs> Who's this? It's down French. Hey, down, down, buddy. French. Okay, then we'll sniff. Look at this. Look at this. Delicious. 
So Brad, look at his tail. Oh, he's so excited. Good boy, friend. Yeah, he's so excited. Finch, is that your brother? Are you so excited? Oh, yeah, he. Oh, that's your brother. Okay. And he's peeing. <laughs> oh, good boy, the OG. Hey, Boo Boo. He's excited. Are you excited? But he's so tired, he doesn't want to play. Are you so tired? You're not trying to wake up yet? Hi! Good boy, baby. Dude, keep going. Alright. This is your ball. Right? This is your favorite ball. You know? Can you get yeah, one? You go pay, buddy. Yeah. I know, friend. You're so, so <laughs> playful, too. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my film. If you made it to this point, I really do appreciate it. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, or follow the page. And that is it, that's the video. Dioji's a blast to have. Having two is definitely better than one. I must say, we're having a lot of fun with the two dogs, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.